Hi Mike. Hi Derek. How are you doing? Good. We're launching a new service, Mike. We are. Exciting Ad times. <laughs> Absolutely exciting. Advent I am outsource, it's called. We've been going for 20 years now, yeah? Yes, 20 years. And that's a long time to for any security agency in this day and age. Well, <clears throat> I think it is and it isn't because we have always been a very agile and adaptive organisation. So whilst the the brand has been going for 20 years as an organisation, we're not the same organisation with the same portfolio that we had 20 years ago. Absolutely right. So, I mean, I, we call it a new service, Advent I am outsourced, but we've actually been doing it for six years for one very large customer, haven't we? We have, yes. And um, interestingly, what happened was the customer said, look, what you do for us in terms of consultancy is fantastic. The standard is exactly what we need. The quality is exactly what we need. Your capability is exactly what we need. But can you scale it? Right. So that's when we went out and brought in the experts, extra experts we needed. Yeah, so we were able to combine our security expertise right. and pedigree um, to onboard the resource that was required which meant the, the personnel that we were putting forward for the client right. um, at a scalable level but also carefully curated so that they were going to apply the same exacting standards that we expect of our own staff. Brilliant. So we must have brought a lot of real value to that customer because we were taking away a lot of their time and effort they spent bringing in and interviewing people and making sure that vetting their skill yeah. set were right. Yeah, so, and, the, and the scalability yeah. of it and having that trusted pool of resource yes. meant that as new projects came online, we were able to keep scaling and keep scaling. And we were able to deal with very short notice peak demands as well, so we could bring additional resource in when a project got to a particular point and scale that resource back again. So with the peaks and troughs of the project, we were able to smooth those out but also meant that the client themselves weren't having to go out and effectively spend time and effort yes. trying to find those resources themselves. So we became the single point of contact. We had the single point of contact with the, with, with the non-permanent resource that we were putting into the organisation. And we, we managed them effectively as though they were our own staff. Yes, yes. And of course, as I think we've done 200 projects now, Mike. We have, that yes. For like six years. And in, in that time, inevitably, you're going to get ch churn of staff. You know, people drop in and drop out of the, of the people we're, we're, we're bringing on to, to do the projects. But we will just kind of replace that without questions. Yeah, it was absolutely you know, seamless. So yeah, we, well, we were able to bring resource in. So um, you know, if somebody was off sick, right. we would replace that resource. Somebody wasn't available for whatever reason, yes. we would replace that resource and make sure the resourcing was seamless. But also, as time went on, right. because we had built up this trusted pool of resource, we had other clients saying to us, hey, can you do that for us? And so we were able to move resource around right. between projects and between clients yes. in order to ensure that they were being utilised where their skills were the most needed at that point in time. Of course. Now, of course, everybody knows about the skill shortage we suffer from, Mike, in this country and in globally, I think, with insecurity. It's, it's a real challenge. Um, and most organisations in this country do some form of outsourcing to help mm -hmm. plug the gaps and so on. I think most of them get their resource, the extra resource that they need from the recruitment sector, recruitment yeah. agencies. Um, so obviously, you know, we're adding a little bit of extra something on top of what the recruitment agencies yes. supply today. So there's nothing wrong with recruitment agencies and they have their role to play in this. Yeah. Um, and you know, what we bring to it is um, the security expertise and proven track record of delivering successful projects right. on time and to budget and the project management wraparound. So where right. you know, some of those 200 projects that we've done were required a complexity of resource management and project management, which we were able to provide those skills as well. 
and of course we were able to provide the man management element to our event. Excellent. So there's nothing wrong with recruitment agencies but pretty much once you've got your body from the recruitment agency that's where the recruitment agency's input would yes. typically end. Yes. We offer a through life right. um, cycle of involvement and as I say what we're able to do is we provide a team of people so at the start of a project where you might typically need people who've got security architecture, design, um, you know, those, those sort of skills, we can bring those in early on in the project. Maybe towards the end of the project, what you're actually looking for are assurance, yes. governance and risk management. Um, it may well be that, you know, at a particular point in the project, you might be looking to go forward and do some sort of accreditation. Um, so we can bring that forward as well. So we can switch the skills in and out as they're required at various points in the project. And, and that makes sure that the project is resourced where the skills are needed the most when they're needed the most. Yes. So it's more than just a body shop, we're Absolutely. providing a total service. And I think, so, okay, so it's a, a security consultancy led um, outsourcing service. Absolutely. And I think you know, one of the things um, that struck me uh, that well, certainly the client was saying was that uh, the ability to, at the very start of the issue that they might have or problem they wanted solving, to talk to another security expert about the task before they finalise the skill set they need. I think they found that quite useful, very useful in fact. Yeah, and because we've got <coughs> our own people embedded into the project, yes. we're able to have those conversations up front, we can help to refine yes. the requirements, Absolutely. so we can help them to understand the type of skill sets and the type of people that's going to be required and then we can fulfill that requirement as well. So, so, so that brings us into the kind of additional areas then, but the kind of nitty gritty stuff or some of the processes that we have to, 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 to work with mm -hmm. to make all this happen. So in, for instance, in that case, our knowledge of, of the security challenge will allow us to in, do interviewing in a much more in-depth yeah, way. Yeah, well, we've, to, we've to got 20 sure. years yeah, of experience. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> of recruiting security yes. consultants. Yes. So what we're effectively doing is recruiting security consultants but into non-permanent roles. Yes. Um, whilst at the same time we have got very senior experienced security people who can oversee projects and make sure that things are being done properly. Brilliant. And so you know as I said what well, we started off doing this for one client to meet their particular need at that point in time. As this has evolved and we've talked to other clients, they've said, can you do something similar to us? Yes. So it's only natural then, as we have done for the whole of those 20 years, that we look at this and think, actually, we should formalise this as a service and offer it out to the client base as a whole.